Peleus and Thetis were a happy couple who loved each other to their heart's content. Thetis was a nymph, while Peleus was the king of Pythia. They decided they wanted to marry each other, so Zeus held a banquet to celebrate their wedding. He invited all the immortal gods and goddesses except one. The one goddess not invited was Eris, goddess of distress and discord. When Eris realized she was not invited, she decided to do what she does best, cause distress. Eris looked down at the party from her perch. Eris flew away and ran up Mount Olympus. She stole a golden apple from the top and went back to her island. Eris dropped the apple down into the party and waited for the chaos to ensue. The apple read, for the fairest. Immediately, Hera, Athena and Aphrodite claimed the apple. It's me, said Hera. No, me, Athena exclaimed, then Aphrodite said. I am the goddess of beauty, so it should be me. The three squabbling deities decided that Zeus, the king of all gods, would decide who could claim the apple, along with the title it bared. I will not decide. In fact, I know just a man, Paris, the mortal shepherd, under the tree down on earth. See him? The three were not too pleased with this idea, but they decided to pay Paris a visit. We need you to decide which of us is the fairest. If I am the one you choose, I will provide you with wisdom and strength. I can make you the king of both Europe and Asia. You'll be the wealthiest mortal around. And then Aphrodite said, I will give you Helen of Sparta, the most beautiful mortal woman in all of the land. And yes, she will love you back. Paris put some thought to it, but decided on Aphrodite's deal. There is Helen, waiting for you on your ship in Sparta. Go and retrieve her. So, Paris and Helen lived happily ever after, until the Greeks decided they wanted her back and declared war on Troy. The, the end. end. Thank, thank you for, for watching. watching. Mayday 82 was blown up.